This one was a viewer question I got a couple days ago, and the person wanted to highlight multiple words and have it different colors because they had like an error log or something like that. And if they have like a error, you know, or a warning or something like that, and they want to see it really well, and that's why we're going to use highlighting with it. Anywho, let me demonstrate it out here. We'll cut out this file, this text file, and this can be your log file or your error code or whatever it is, right? Um, if you read like this, you're not going to see uh, the error code or whatever. This warning here is error, uh, warning. Um, it's not going to grab your attention, let's say that. So we can pipe it into this program called H Highlighter, or a short is just uh, one letter H only. So H, and then um, the word that you want to highlight. So let's say this one here, warning. Right, and now when you pipe it out uh, or you output it, um, it'll be in red. However, this one is not, uh, you know, case insensitive. So you see it has lowercase here, and this one's uppercase, and it's not grabbing that. So you can do, what's that, H dash H here, and this will give you the help page for it. So they have three other options you can do, or other flags you can do here. Uh, the dash I is to ignore the case. Um, D is to disable regular expressions. And N is to invert the colors. So you don't like the colors the way it is, you can invert them. Um, so let's do that again here. But we're gonna do a dash I for ignoring the case. And now it will actually uh, grab these other ones here, right? So that's how you do it for one word, but if you want multiple words, just type it out, like say error here. And now the error will be in green, and let's do it more. So you can you know, continue with more strings if you want. So this one here will be yellow, and let's say uh, this global one here, so on and so forth. Now you're not really in control of the colors because it goes in order. So we'll start out with uh, red, and then green, yellow, and then blue. And so on and so forth. Um, that's pretty much it for the program, really. If you want to do invert, you can do um, what is that? The n, right? The, uh, the dash n for invert. And now you invert the colors. And so, depend on you, you know, how you like to look at your colors. You can invert them or not. Anywho, that's it for the program, really. Um, or not really a program, it's just a script that you can use. So this is where you can get it here. It's just called h.sh here, uh, h highlighter, or just h. And you also need to install this program called act. should be in your repositories, right? Now, after you uh, download the script here, you actually have to source it in your bash RC or ZSH RC. So open that sucker up, and it should be something like this, real simple. If this uh, script exists, then you source it. And that's the end of the if statement, really. Anywho, you put something like this in your um, bash RC or ZSH RC, and you're good, All right? And you can pipe it out with your log files or your error message or whatever it is you do. Um, that's it for this one.